Do you need something, monsieur? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get underway. Look alive. Do you... You need something from me? Look alive. You need something, yes? Trade is good. Looking for trouble, I hope.
Oh, my systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me.
airport used to be a nightmare for outbreak planning. Now, not so much. Did you hear something? Your pulse and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. Hey. Hey. Something I can do for you? Are you the one in charge around here? About as much as anyone, sure. Now, you want to tell me what it is you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I I'm not sure that's gonna work. This is home. Now, I'm gonna make this easy for you. Take these caps and go. Caps? For this? Uh, yeah, fine. I guess it's all yours. Land's yours, okay? We'll take care of the territory, boss. After all, you put it in good hands.
If yeah. Lizzie asks you I'm to volunteer for do. one of her tests, at least once we get don't. some supplies coming in. You ought to head on back, boss. Let him know how it went. Hey. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking the other Don't have the password.
Oh no, I have been hit. Need something, boss? Gotta be something good in here. Made some good moves, boss. Guess Gage knew what he was doing for once. Only good thing about being sent outside? No collar. New boss, huh? Don't worry, I don't cause problems. Well, well. Rumor going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the Commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So... Which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? The operators. I'll send word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. The slog might be a good choice to hit, though I'd have to confirm that's still the case. So, what's the target? Huh. Was that... Yeah, that one will do. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Plus, having an outpost nearby gives us another option. Claiming the airwaves. Building a Nuka World radio transmitter at an outpost within range of the target will let them know we're closing in on them. Your Pip-Boy map should show you which outposts are close enough to serve. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. But, <laughs> you got options. Good luck. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. If Lizzie asks you to volunteer for one of her tests, don't. Just looking to trade a little. Right. You're the boss.
You. Just some radars with the radio station. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, what can I do for you? This place is gonna start giving me and my gang a nuka world a cut of everything you grow, make. Or find under the damn couch cushions, understand? That, that's that's uh, an interesting proposal. I, uh, I'm sure we can come to uh, some kind of mutual understanding. How about you and I make a deal? You get this place supplying my people. I'll make it worth your while. You'll pay me? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I guess I can do that. Hey, everybody. Bad news. We got some new management. Sounds like they're gonna tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. You a sheep or a wolf? Cause the pack only runs with wolves. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? What can you tell me about this gang? Not a whole lot. Our scout said the boss calls himself Sinner. Claims to have a decent-sized crew ready to take what we stole fair and square. Suppose he just needs to learn who his betters are. So, are you and I of the same mind on how that ought to get done? I want to try talking to them. So, that's a no, then. Look, boss. Your clout may get you what you want around here, but that doesn't earn you a thing with raiders in the Commonwealth. All those mutts understand is force, and I think it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. Oh, uh, hey boss. Didn't see you there. Hey there. I don't care to talk much. Gets me into trouble. If Lizzie asks you to volunteer for one of her tests, don't. Welcome back. Need it. 
all considered putting the bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Showing the operators a good life, ain't you, boss? Hey there. Over, boss. A pleasure. Shank said you might need some tools to... ease relations with the people of the Commonwealth. Well, you've come to the right place. I've put together a couple of toys that should make getting what you want out of those rubes easier. <laughs> Only thing we ask in return is that you remember the operators when you're handing out new territory on the other side of the mountains. What exactly have you got? So, first up, something to manipulate a target. It's a homemade distillation brewed to mimic human flight pheromones. Toss one of these grenades at the feet of your target and convincing the wary settler suddenly becomes a much simpler affair. Now, to function effectively, I had to make the formula precise. So it's not going to work on people in any of the big towns like Bunker Hill or Diamond City, nor on caravanners. But for your purposes, hitting settlements out in the Commonwealth, it ought to give you a serious edge. Take any advantage I can get. Well, this should give you one. Here. Only had enough to make the one locally. But you can take the recipe as well, should you find yourself wanting more. So, the other trick up our sleeve is a little more broad spectrum than the grenades. Gulp down a couple lungfuls, and anyone you speak to will be far more apt to give you what you want. Plus, I've winnowed down the addiction risk to near zero, so no need to fear repeat usage. Here, ingredients for that one have been tricky to find, but between that and the grenade, you should have no problem getting at least one settlement under your control before you have to brew up your own. And just remember us when you're crushing those poor settlers underfoot, hmm? It's remarkable the things you can do with only two hands. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against Max. Them into mm. hurting each other. You know, I've got a job set aside that I think you might find stimulating, if you're interested. Yeah, no. Very well. Only thought you might value an opportunity to display your support. Got word those punks were spotted not far from here, boss. Whole place is on alert. We'll keep an eye out. Who 
Who's in charge around here? I'll tear their heart out. You. You, the Nuka World waste pile that thought you could move your gang into sinner's territory and live? You give me one good reason. I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. Sinner, it doesn't have to be like this. We can be stronger together than we ever were apart. Join my gang. Are you fucking kidding me? I will wear your bones. Kill them! I'm gonna tell you fucking... You listen closely. This land is ours. So... Turn around and crawl back under whatever rock you came from, right now. Whoa, whoa, easy. Take it, take it easy, all right? Sure, just, uh, you know, keep it. This place was a shithole anyway. Heard some rumbles, this one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Those raiders won't be causing us any more problems. That's what I've been hearing. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. I want to know more about managing the outpost's basic necessities. Day-to-day -day needs. They're pretty straightforward. Just need to make sure you've set up solid defenses. Plenty of beds under cover, and enough clean water to go around. Not much more to it than that. Was there anything else? I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip any time you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that'd interest you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, there anything I can do? Looking to run a job? Yeah, yeah. What kind of job we talking here? Organize a crew. It's time we got a settlement to cough up some supplies. Sure. And which gang you want to join you on the job? The operators. Deal. They'll be waiting for you. So, where do you want to hit? You gotta give me something, boss. Wanna pick some other target? Or another job?
Remind me, what's the difference between the types of jobs? Well, with jobs where you're trying to convince folks, not every settlement's gonna have someone who wants to chat. So you'll have more options using force. Also, can't say no to firepower. You try chatting with the settlement, they might just tell you to take a hike. Let's do this later. Your call.